Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to round any number off to the nearest 1 million. So let's have a look at our examples here. So in example 1, we've got around 2,758,124 to the nearest million. So the first thing you need to do is find the millions column. So if we start on the right hand side, the column at the end is the ones or the units. Then you've got your tens, then you've got your hundreds, then you've got your thousands, then you've got your tens of thousands then you've got your hundreds of thousands and then you've got your millions okay so at the moment then we have two million so this is the column we're interested in so we've got two choices we can either round the number down to two million that's basically keeping it the same or we can round the number up to three million so to decide which one it's closest to, just look at the number after the millions column in the hundreds of thousands column. So in this column we've got the seven. So you might know the rules. If it, that number is five or above, you round the number up. If it's less than five, you round the number down. Okay, so if this number is a seven, so it's definitely five or above. So this means our answer will be closer to three million. So let's move on to example two then. So this time we've got 6,154,328. So we've got to round it off to the nearest 1 million. So again, if we look for our millions column, so start on the right hand side. So the number at the end is the ones or the units. Then you've got your tens. Then you've got your hundreds column. Then you've got your thousands column. Then you've got your tens of thousands. Then you've got your hundreds of thousands. And then we've got our millions at the end there. Okay. So at the moment then we've got 6 million. Okay. So our two choices would either be 6 million if you round it down. Or 7 million if you round it up. So we just need to look at the next column to decide. So since it's a 1. <coughs> that number's less than 5. So we'd round the number down to 6 million. Okay, so let's move on to example three then. So this time we've got 26,543,729. So again, we need to identify the millions column. So at the end we've got the ones, then we've got the tens, then we've got the hundreds, then you've got your thousands, then you've got your tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, then you've got your millions and then you've got your tens of millions. We're not really interested in these, so we can cover these up for the time being. Okay, so the one we're interested in is this column here. We've got six million at the moment. So again, we've got two choices then. You can kind of either leave it at six million if you round it down, or round it up to seven million. So just look at the number in the next column to decide, which is a five. Remember, if it's five or above, you round the number up. Okay, so. This number we rounded up to 7 million. And again, we just need to copy that number in the tens of millions just before the number. So our final answer is 27 million. So let's move on to example 4 then. So we've got a big number on this one. So we've got 348 million, 465,273. So again, we just need to identify the millions column. So if we start on the right hand side, You've got your ones, then you've got your tens, then you've got your hundreds, then you've got your thousands, then you've got your hundreds of thousands, so you've got your tens of thousands, then you've got your hundreds of thousands, then you've got your millions, then you've got your tens of millions, and your hundreds of millions. So the column that we are interested in is the millions column, which is this one here. So at the moment we've got 8 million. We can ignore these other numbers before the number. So we've got two choices that we can go for. We can either go for 8 million if we round the number down or 9 million if we round it up. So I look at the number in the hundreds of thousands of column, which is a 4. So since that number is less than 5, we'll round the number down to 8 million. And then just copy those other digits before the number. 
uh, thanks for watching uh, make sure you like and subscribe see you next time